What's going on, y'all? This your boy DeAndrew coming to you from Relatable TV. I'm back with another video. Um, today is Monday, so I said I was gonna come with, you know, the videos that people request, ask me questions, sent me, you know, inboxes and stuff about. So, um, you already know, I'm on that Nas. I'm on that Sonic Sour. Like I said, it's one of my favorite flavors. Um, and we gonna we gonna get into this video. But, um, anywho, um, the question was asked, how do you deal with fake friends or fake people? And I was, to me, that was a very good question because, again, if you guys see my other video about good and bad people, I apply the same thing to friendships and, and, you know, things of that nature. So, to me, there's no such thing as, as being a fake friend or having fake friends or anything like that. I feel like, again, this is just coming from me, I feel like that you have to learn the people before you decide to call them your friends. Like, you have to learn people before you bring them in your circle, before you bring them in your house and stuff. You know, I fell victim to a lot of that stuff because I would meet somebody, it would be somebody that I'm cool with, and then they'll introduce me to someone they're cool with, you know, and then, you know, you'll be cool with the, without learning a person. Not saying that, you know, even those people are bad, that's a bad way to meet people. But the reason why I say that there's no such thing as fake friends is because what makes someone a fake friend you know is it because they tell your business because if that's the case everybody's fake because at some point everybody tells somebody's business now the thing that i've learned is if you don't want it out then don't tell nobody because the moment you tell one one person you telling everybody because all it take is hey man don't tell nobody but uh so and so you know so and then they go to a person hey yeah don't tell nobody but did you hear about someone so to me there's no such thing as a fake friend is just learning the people that you know that are in your circle that that kind of accommodate your life and the things that you like to do now let me break that down before people start saying oh no what there is fake friends listen so i might have a friend that we just hoop we just hoop together we, we just play ball together we just you know we just kick it on the basketball court and that's just what it is and that friend might not be the person to come around my mom you get what I'm saying? That person might not be the friend that comes to my crib when the kids are there. You know, I got friends that come to the crib when the kids are there and the friends that don't. You know, so it's just really just learning which friend is which and who is who. Who you can talk to, who you can kick it with. You know, everyone is going to have like a different, a different position in your life. The problem is we try to take the friend that we hoot with and then all of a sudden we'll start hanging out we don't know their background we don't know you know even what issues they have that comes with them we don't know none of that stuff but we'll you know we'll take them okay this is my friend we'll start kicking it and then before we know it it's like wait a minute isn't it talking about me you know what i'm saying because you got friends that you probably been kicking it with since elementary school you know what i'm saying that know you that's been around you that know you but those friends of friends won't have the same because they won't know that same you so it doesn't necessarily make them fake. It's just a matter of learning who's which friend is which. You know, like who is who. Because again, it you know, if it's something interesting someone tells you, you're gonna tell somebody. I mean that's just what it is. Whether it's to be messy or whether it's just, you know, it might even come up in a conversation like, yeah, oh yeah, my homeboy, he, you know, he did this. Or my homegirl, she ran around and did this, too, you know, so it might not be so much like being messy. It might just be come up in a conversation, you know. But again, if it's something that you don't want somebody to tell, whether it's friends or family, you don't tell anybody. You keep it to yourself. So as far as like fake friends... I don't believe that there's a such thing as fake friends. You know, again, this is just my opinion. I just think, you know, you just have to learn which friends are which. You have to learn your surroundings, excuse me, and learn your company. So, for me, even for me, people people uh, that, that talk to me, people know what they can talk to me about because they know how I'm going to, you know, how I'm going to respond. They know what type of friend I am. I don't expect my friends to talk to me about everything. I don't expect my friends to, every time they go on a trip, they got to take me. Every time they, I don't expect that. Because again, you have certain friends for certain things. You might have friends that run the streets, but then you might have your friends that own businesses. You get what I'm saying? You're not going to try to like bring like those, those group of friends together in like some type of setting because it's going to be an unbalanced because then you're going to have maybe your street friends that's going to look at you in that with the street mentality and then the business friends going to look at you like, yo, 
You know, why, you know, what's, 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 what is this? What's going on? And they might not understand what they're doing. They might not, man, they squares. Man, why they act so hood? So it's like you just have to learn who's who and what's what. And I think with that, that comes with, you know, like I said, just paying attention to your surroundings. Like, again, in my other video, I said there's no such thing as good and bad people. So it's not like a good and bad friend. It's just which friend you can go to about what and which friend you can't go to about what. You know, so, and some of us have to go through stuff to see who's who. But it's not like, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not messing with them no more because they told my business. Man, we all tell, everybody's told somebody's business. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, I've, I've learned that, like I said before, I've learned that I've sat at tables with people and we've talked about people. And as soon as I've got a, gotten up from the table, I was the topic of discussion at the table. So I don't get mad about that. Like I said, now that I'm growing in my mind, it's just, you know, one, it's the circle of life. And two, it's just if someone talks about you to, you know, talks to you about someone else, then I mean, don't don't think that they won't talk about you. And I'm, I'm not even accepting or saying that that's cool, because if it's something personal, you know, but again, if it's something personal, you should know who to share it with and who, you know, don't share it with. I like to test people a lot. That's just what I like to do. So I'll tell somebody something and just let it marinate. And then I'll try to see if I hear it back. And I'll only tell one person. Then I'll like to see, you know, I'll try to wait and see, like, okay, if I hear it back, I know what to expect with this person. I'm not going to rush them, not going to press them. They ain't got to run me nothing. It's just, okay, I know how to move with this person. That's all. So then when the talking gets to, gets to going, I'm quiet. I ain't going to say nothing. I ain't going to say nothing to them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to learn how to keep... That side of my business that I don't want out, you know, I just, you know, now if it's things that you want to tell, oh yeah, I came up on this new lick or uh, uh, I got a new girlfriend, I got this new job, that, you know, if that's what you want to put out there, then you know that's going to circulate, you know, so you just have to learn who, who to tell what to and then learn your surroundings to know who's who. Because, and I said before, a lot of people their outlook, their views on friendship is different. You know, so everyone isn't going to be a solid individual. But then some people are going to be solid. It's just solid in their way. You know what I'm saying? It's people that have been crossed over, screwed over, and, and done, been done shysty and stuff. And in their mindset, everybody's going to do that to them. So they're going to move like, nah, I'm not going to, you know, but not, not understanding that the next person they did nothing to them. It's just a mindset you develop. And things that you go through, situations you go through, you know, like people, people will show you who they are. You just have to learn to get to know people, you know, so you can't really, I'm not saying don't listen to what people say, but kind of watch how people move. Look at people's demeanor, you know, just pay attention to people's actions. Then you will learn who's who and what's what. I've had some, some very close people and then I've had distant people. They've told me some of their deepest, darkest secrets and I hold them to this day. I have no reason to tell their business to whoever or whatever the case is, you know, so, but again, that's just me. I'm not even saying that that's like, you know, whatever, because I have had my moments where I was messy and, oh yeah, so-and-so, she, ooh, she talked to him. Oh, oh man, hey, I heard he messing with her. You know what I'm saying? I've had my moments. Again, now that I'm growing, I've learned that those things really don't, you know, that it doesn't do anything for my life. If it doesn't have an effect on my life or me or my children or anything, then I kind of, I don't see the, the reason or the purpose to discuss it. But that doesn't mean I wouldn't engage in a conversation of someone saying, oh yeah, man, so-and-so did this, man, that's young crazy. Like, damn, yeah, that is crazy. You know, I wonder why he did that. You know what I'm saying? But it wouldn't be a full on like, what? What do you do? What happened? What? It? You know, so even for me, myself, I've learned to try to be, a, my version of a better friend or a better person because like I said everyone has talked about somebody everyone's told somebody's business you know so um and I've learned to keep my business to myself you know and and, and going back to the to the question was is there such thing as fake friends and and real friends and I I don't I don't think there's a such thing I just think that you just have to learn who you can move around certain ways and who you can't move around certain ways. You can still hang out with people that you know have talked about you. I've seen people do it. I've done it plenty of times. But it's just you have to understand what comes with hanging out with that person. You know, so uh, I think it was that DMX video that he said, you know, you trust a snake to bite you. Trust a thief to steal from you. Trust a lie to lie from you. You know, and, and you know, know them when you see them, though. That doesn't make them bad people. You know, and rest in peace to DMX. But um, 
Yeah, that, I mean, I, like I said, I don't really feel like there's a such thing as real and fake friends. I just, I just think, because everybody's real to somebody and everybody's fake to somebody. So again, it goes back to the whole good and bad people. You know, they're only real friends when you're benefiting from them. And they're doing, you know, y'all, they riding and sliding with you and y'all going out and y'all kicking it. And y'all, you know, y'all getting dressed and getting fancy with the girls and stuff. And, and the girls, y'all all kicking it and we gossiping about them. They're good friends when that's going on. So then when it when it's done to you, all of a sudden they bad friends. If that's the case, they was bad friends from the beginning. And that's kind of, you know, kind of cliche. But to answer that, you know, I don't really feel like there's a such thing as fake friends. You know, I just think it's a matter of under excuse me, understanding who's who and and what's what. You know, and, and like I said, I have friends that I could talk about deep stuff with and I can confide in in deep, deep ways, pause. And then I have you know, friends that we might just play the video game together. You know, we might have friends that we might just go get drinks together. We might, you know, just might kick it. You know, then I have friends that, you know, they might, you know, oh yeah, you going to your mom's house, I'm coming with you. You know, you might have those friends. You know, and the issue with that is too, we can't just say, okay, just because I've known this person for this amount of years, they've been real. Now all of a sudden people grow, people change, things are different. Life turns people into different directions. Life gives people different outlooks on things and life brings different experiences to people. So everyone isn't going to stay the same that they was in elementary school. Everybody not going to be the same from middle school or high school or college or, or even even uh, the military or, or whatever the case is. Everybody's not going to be the same. People are going to change based on life experiences. So it would be hard, again, it would be hard to have that, that good friend you've known for so many years, but they've been uh, lied to, they've been, uh, uh, somebody stole from them and different different situations happen and then they get up with you that y'all ain't kicked it or talked in a while they get up with you and then you want them to have that same attitude that's not gonna happen that doesn't make them a bad friend you know but then that's when obviously that's when conversations come in and that's when learning people come in and I'm a big big fan I mean big I don't say big fan I'm a big like learn your person kind of guy like learn people around you from the people you kick it with to the people you decide to uh, invite into your life even learning your family learn people learn people and that way you wouldn't it wouldn't be judgment because again if that's the case we all can be judged so that's my my answer for this video and um again y'all know i'm coming with more videos keep the suggestions coming i have a few more suggestions so there are suggestions that i want to i'm not even gonna cut that out either but i have a few suggestions that you know i do want to talk about and those videos are coming throughout this week and um man i really i'm i'm really grateful for the support that i've been getting i'm not even gonna lie i'm very grateful um i have exciting news but i'm gonna save it for a few other videos you know i'm gonna you know i'm not gonna get too ahead of myself but um Thank you guys for the, the, the support. Make sure y'all tell somebody to like, comment, subscribe. Tell people to subscribe. You know, keep the, keep the suggestions coming. And we're going to keep this thing rolling. Again, I will be your voice. If it's something that you feel like you can't say, if it's something that, you know, you just want my opinion or my logic on because you see my other videos and you liked them, then just let me know. And I'll say it. I won't say your name unless you ask me to. I won't put you out there like that. None of that. Trust me. I'm a person that could keep a secret. Anybody that knows me knows I could keep a secret. Them, them messy days behind me. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really messy, like messy, messy anyway. But, you know, we've all had our fair share of moments. And that's just me being honest with myself. I, I don't exclude myself and think that I'm just the, you know what I'm saying? No. But, um, yeah, man. I appreciate y'all. And make sure y'all subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Y'all could even share my videos if y'all want to. Tell somebody. Tell your relative. Tell your friend. Tell your good friends, fake friends. Tell your friends. It don't matter to me. Tell anybody. And um, I'll see y'all in the next video.